Lord Simon, who toured the entire India, made a heavy accusation as against the Constitutional Assembly that this assembly is having high-cost Hindus. It cannot deliberate the issues of scheduled caste and scheduled tribe and OBC and minorities. Who protested it? Nehru? No. Ambedkar? No. Gandhi? No. Shyam Pradas Mukherjee, representing Hindu Mahasabha. He stood. Mr. Simon, you are alien. You came from Britain. We are one Indian. Maybe higher caste, lower caste. Course of time, we believe that we have to remove. We want to feel that we are all Indians. Don't teach lessons. This is a statement available in the Constitution Assembly. Your forefathers who invented RS, RSS and Jansen and Magasabha were keen at that time when the Constitution was enacted. But you are the descendants. Neither you are aware about the ancestors nor about the constitutional values. Now you wanted to bury it. Sir, I can conclude. I can conclude. I, I, sir, I am, I am having I am I am having only one swalas, only one swalas. Like Mova, Mova put it correctly. Now, no, no. Now you are depending, you are depending upon the sir. You are de depending upon the Chandra Babu Naidu. You are depending upon the Nitish Kumar. As long as the dependency is work, you can rule the country. Yes, but take it granted. Take it granted. Your dependency should not be. Wait, Baba. Your dependency should not be alone on the two political parties, two individuals. You can rule. If you want really win the country, win the people of heart, depend upon the constitution which says equality, liberty and fraternity. With these words, I come to sir. Thank you. Sri Labu Sri Krishna Ji. Sir, thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak on motion of thanks on the President's address, sir. Let me start off by congratulating our Indian cricket team, which has won T20 World Cup after 17 long years. It has brought joy to every household in this country, sir. And I also want to congratulate my colleague MPs, who has gone through the grind of uh, election 2024 and has come out here victorious. With you as a, as a leader of this house, as a custodian of this house, I should tack myself. We will definitely work towards fulfilling the aspirations of the people of this country, sir. And I also want to congratulate Prime Minister Modi ji for being elected the third time as a leader of this house, sir. Sir, to best define Modi ji, I need to take the words of uh, Naidu Garu and his uh, Chandra Naidu Garu and his uh, and his observations that he has made three months back, sir. In a private conversation, he said that he had almost 45 long years in politics. In those 45 years, he has seen a lot of leaders in this country. There are a lot of leaders who had great vision. There are a lot of uh, leaders who has great administrative skills. There were a lot of leaders who had great mass following, sir. But what he said was, what Chandran Adhikaru said was, in Modi ji, he has seen the whole of these three things in th three of these qualities in Modi ji, sir. That itself says what Prime Minister Modi ji is all about, sir. Not just Naidu ji, but I think everyone in this country has seen these three, three qualities in uh, Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji, sir. That's why I think in election 2024, they pressed the EVMs for the continuation of reforms. They pressed the EVMs for the continuation of development that he has initiated. They press the EVMs for the fulfillment of the aspirations for the youth of this country, sir. Sir, there's so much of negativity that has been talked about for the last couple of hours, but I don't want to go into that. There are some great things that are happening in this country, sir. We are living in a country which has one of the fastest growing economies, sir. GDP has been, has been doubled from $2 trillion to $4 trillion in the last 10 years, sir. In the last 10 years, our per capita income nearly doubled, sir. In the last 10 years, exports grew from $300 billion to almost $765 billion, sir. In the last 10 years, our FDA has grown up from $36 billion to $83.5 billion, sir. Not just economy, even in infra, we have made great strides. Our country is home to second largest road network, sir, and third largest aviation market right now. We should be really proud of this achievement, sir. 
Also, we have empowered women by giving almost 30 crore mudra loans to the women entrepreneurs in the last 10 years, sir. More than 1,20,000 startups were emerged in India in the last 10 years, sir. And also, we should be very proud that India is now home to largest number of unicorns in the world, sir. Not just reforms, not just uh, economy, not just infra, sir, but also welfare measures have been taken care in the last 10 years, sir. 25 crore people have been lifted out of poverty. 4.2 crore houses were built. And also 3 crore more houses have been sanctioned recently, sir. 11.5 lakh households were provided with safe drinking water through Jaljeevan Mission, sir. These are the things that we should really, we should be really proud of, sir. Not just these, sir. Also, we have passed some important legislations in the last 10 years in this house, sir. We have implemented GST, which was very much needed because we had a really cumbersome taxation process across, this, across the state, sir. And we have brought in new legislations banning triple talaq and also women's reservation bill, which has empowered the women, sir. We have also brought in new criminal laws and also we have obligated Article 370, which freed Jammu and Kashmir, sir. These are the, some of the achievements for the last 10 years we should be really proud of, sir. But Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji and NDA are not going to sit on these achievements. Definitely, we need to have, we need to set new targets and we need to set new targets for ourselves and also overcome new challenges to overcome, uh, to reach these targets, sir. We need to give more push for the rural infrastructure. We need to invest in rural education. We need to invest in the rural health care and also we need to invest in the rural digital infrastructure, sir. We need to do more to double the farmer's income rather than just thinking about it. We need to take on unemployment and create more jobs to the youth of this country, sir. We need to do, we also need to bring more vigor in the manufacturing sector, sir. PLA scheme is a good start, but we need to remember our, our MM, MSMEs are working with the highest interest rates in the world, sir, highest power charges, highest difficult labor loss, and our MSMEs are working with one of the costliest logistics anywhere in the world, sir. So I think we need to sit together, not just as a as opposition, also sit together and actually try to come up with this solution and come up with these policies so that our MSMEs are much more competitive across the world, sir. Also, the government under Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji need to address these issues to build a strong, robust India so that India will become Vixar Bar, sir. TDP as an NDA partner will support you in this endeavor all through for the last for the next five years people of andhra wants to walk with you people of andhra wants to work with you sir people of andhra have shown it in the recent election results also out of 175 assembly elections assembly seats that we have contested we have nda has won almost 164 seats in andhra sir in the 25 parliament seats nda has contested nda has won 21 parliament seats sir that is a success rate of more than 90% success rate in Andhra Pradesh, and also 56% vote share has been given to the NDA, sir. So these are the achievements. These are, these are the electoral results that have happened in the recent elections, sir. So now the election process has been finished. I request the Honorable Prime Minister and the other Cabinet Minister to extend a helping hand in reconstruction and rebuilding of Andhra Pradesh, sir. I have used the word reconstruction and rebuilding. It's a very strong word because we are faced with two issues, sir. The first issue being, you all know, we have been talking about this for the last five years, and my uh, senior colleagues have been talking about for the last 10 years about a uh, revenue deficit that Andhra, Andhra Pradesh is facing for the last 10 years, sir. We are struggling with, it, with this, so I request the Finance Ministry to actually release the revenue deficit, revenue deficit uh, whatever we are facing, the gap that, we have, that is supposed to be released almost seven to eight years back. We ex expect them to release it, sir. And also the second problem that we are actually facing is with respect to the debt that we are facing to the tune of 13.5 lakh crores, sir. The, if the debt is taken to actually add infrastructure, it's no problem, sir. But the problem is in Andhra Pradesh, mainly in the last five years, this debt, is, debt has been taken just and no, no new infrastructure has been added to the state of Andhra Pradesh. So that is what we are, is, is the problem that we are facing right now, sir. So I expect the Honorable Prime Minister and, the, and also the ministers who are sitting here to actually address these problems, sir, starting with um, Set, starting with, uh, starting with, uh, uh, we want, we want the minister, Jal Shakti minister, to actually look into Polavara project, sir, which is a. Uh -huh.
We will definitely talk about everything. We won't talk everything negative. We want to talk about something positive also. Let's have let's have patience, okay? Hey, please address yeah. address to the chair. Don't spend too much Krishna, time Krishna, talking Krishna, negativity. Please, honorable member, address to the chair. They are happy talking about negative stuff, sir. No, let no, me they talk may be happy, but stuff. chair is not happy. You understand? Just finished our election. Let 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 us demand for what we need to get into from Andhra Pradesh. You know what is the vote share? Your vote share is 0.7% or something. Krishna, Krishna, so honorable member, please that. address to the chair. No cross tax. No cross tax. We, we wanted to address the chair. Sir, look at this. Please, sir, please address the chair. Sir, I request the, I request the Jal Shakti Ministry, sir, to actually look at the national project that is Polavaram, sir. It is it has been lying in the limbo for the last five years, sir. No progress has been made. I thank Jal Shakti Ministry for sending a new team so that they can inspect and uh, assess the situation on ground, sir. But uh, we want it to be expedited because this is a project that can give water, irrigation water to almost 4.3 lakh hectares in the state, sir, and also provide drinking water to almost 28.5 lakh houses also, sir, and also 960 megawatt of hydro power also can be created through this, sir. So we want, this is a national project that is being lying in the limbo for the last five years. We want this project to be expedited, sir. Also, we want to request the Housing and Urban Affairs Ministry to actually look at our capital, Amaravati, sir. It has been 33,000 acres of land has been given by the farmers, free of cost. They have not taken a single rupee also, sir. Expecting that capital will be built as soon as possible, sir. We expect funds to be given from a urban, a Housing and Urban Ministry so that this capital that, that, that has to be built in Andhra Pradesh will be finished in as soon as possible because Andhra Pradesh has bifurcated almost 10 years back, but still we are running a, a state without a capital, a capital, sir. Coming to the industrial corridor that has been promised from Chennai to Vishakapatnam, which connects Vishakapatnam port, Kakinada port, and also the new and upcoming Machilipatnam port, Krishna Patnam, Krishna Patnam port. All these ports will be connected, sir. This will actually give a flip for the term, look east, sir. If this corridor can be finished, we can actually bring in investment, we can actually bring in new industry to this area to actually get character with the East, East Asian countries as well, sir. So we expect the ministry to look into it and also the treasury ministers to look into it, sir. Regarding uh, national highway projects that have been sanctioned to Andhra Pradesh, there is a ceiling that has been put for Andhra Pradesh, sir. The ceiling has been put for 2024-25 at 4,700 crores. We want this ceiling to be lifted so that more funds can be given to Andhra Pradesh because my constituency itself, my constituency itself in the last four or five years, you have given projects worth 2,000 crores. So if I put a ceiling of 4,700 crores, for the whole state, when do you expect these highway projects to be finished? So we want this uh, ceiling to be lifted. Also coming to the education minister, I think he is also here. There are a number of central universities and institutes that have been promised and were given to Andhra Pradesh, sir. But most of these central universities and institutions, except for AIMS, most of them are working from a temporary building, sir. So we expect these buildings to be completed, the campuses to be built, so that this can function in the, uh, in the original campuses, sir. And also the tribal university and uh, regional institute of edu education has been promised to Andhra Pradesh. DPRs are being get getting ready for the last four years, but uh, four to five years, but nothing is moving forward. We expect the education minister to look into it. So we want the uh, education minister to actually move it forward, sir. It's Coming to the Greenfield crude oil refinery and petrochemical complex that have been promised to in the uh, area of Kakinada, we want it to be expedited so that so that more, more investment back. can come in, more, uh, you, you more revenue can come in, and more employment come in into the region. I just conclude, sir. Last point, no, sir. No, no, no. You are in the government. You can meet the ministers. A lot of times I have 30 minutes, sir. Rajaji, you spoke. You can get it. Sir, and uh, finally, sir, there have, been, there have been many railway projects that have been sanctioned to Andhra Pradesh. Many, many railway projects that have been sanctioned to Andhra Pradesh. But the, but the main and important thing that, that, that is the problem with, the, with this is, sir, we are ask, asking for a state contribution for the land acquisition. You know we are a revenue deficit state. So we request you to actually don't put us on par with uh, states like Maharashtra, which are revenue supplies. So please consider, with, consider us special so, and, and make sure that the railway projects go forward, sir. With these comments, with these observations and, and submissions, I conclude my speech in support of the motion moved by Sri Anurag Thakurji, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Sri Rajiv Ranjan Singh, Honorable Member.